It's train. And on today's show, uh, we'll be talking about ambiguity, breeding, anxiety as we get stuck into Therapy 101 as Navi. We'll be starting on the CT side. A little bit of utility on electronic there with a the smoke for a potential defuse with his kit, perfected with a HE2 flashes. And the other side of things, well, looks like they might be setting on up with a deagle towards Ivy on Yav here. This Yo, one could get interesting. An armored deagle. He's got $1,400 invested into him on the pistol. Simple bops in. <laughs> oh, Simple's got. Is that. What, what guns he got there? Is that the P2K? Huh. Of course the world's yeah. best player's got a P2K. Deagle does find its first at cost of life, but seeing that Deagle in Yard might incite Simple to tuck in on this inner sight. An armored P2K is practically the raid boss setup, considering how superior it is to the USP. And that's the end of Jampy. So many multiple targets all descending upon him at the same time. He could have been caught in the jump, but no, stabilizes into Sunny. And Ariel just caught a boatload of damage on that nade. This is going to get really nasty for the Finns. They are boxed and locked in. He's just chipping away at them one by one. Eventually, Ariel keeps it competitive, but a two on two as Flamey enters the site. It's all feasible until you consider Ali eating out the reload. Does he have much left? Seven. Electronic in on the fight. Wins it too. Nicely done. Played out by Na'Vi in the end. Interesting purchases there. Happy to see Flamey picking up some frags as well. I think the conversation you started before, Chad, is one I want to start again. Yes. Definitely the third man, the third name we one would want to see um, picking up those multi-kills and those impact frags. People don't normally want to be the third wheel, but I think in Counter-Strike, that's a great place for Flamey to be, knowing that Electronic and Simple are the ones who are meant to deliver. Should actually take pressure off of Flamey being the third biggest fragger. So... I want to see him continue the form that we saw just the other day because that Na'Vi against Godsent was clinical. Now, Godsent looked like they were having a rough time of it. It wasn't their best counter-strike. I think they would admit that. But Na'Vi, just in their approach, and even that nuke game, it, it got close with that comeback, but it, it felt like just a matter of time until they converted. So the force fight will be coming through from Ants, and Ariel opens things up in a big way. You can ask for more with a start like that. That's perfect. Gets out, gets the kill he wants, but now the rest of the team need to make it stick. If they can stick the landing, they do. Yampi off to a belter as well. Perfecto goes down, bomb goes in, and we're in a post bomb. Are you thinking about the save already? It Posture. looked like it, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, Simple's pulled out his org. I'm happy to see it, but he won't get to bring it into the next if he chooses to commit to this. There is a kit on Electronic, and that's perhaps what's keeping them there. They're letting Simple see if he finds a multi, and he, there is a chance for it. Who know? That's enough. Yep, they're out of there. Oh, they're still going forward. Still moving forward. Three of them. A quick succession right at the end. This is going to be right down to the wire. Sergei needs to stop Electronic. He's chosen the wrong target. Gets him off. Kit's still there. Boomich could perhaps it. get it. He has to sit it. Simple to babysit. Sunny's goes in the gap. And he's got him. It will be ends this round. But my goodness, it comes right down to the wire. Everybody's dead. And now we're going to have a really weird Deagles versus some AKs, unless Na'Vi seriously want to swallow their pride. Yeah, that was uh, a curious one right there. I I'm surprised that they went for this late round. They almost had it. Like, simple converts that kill, Boomich diffuses, and that's it. You can see the frustration yeah. with the mouse wiggle. But the force bite will come back on in. I, I really think people should have a, have a bit of a gander at this tweet that came through from Lucas Nymanen. He's tweeted, he's watching on his phone with an amazing view. So if you're on the interwebs and the Twitter sphere, hashtag ESL Pro League, check that one out. Hashtag ESL, okay. You get into it. I'll see if there's any interest in this round. So far, Boomich okay. is making it quite interesting. Play me. Fancies a bit of the action. It is a 2v2, keep in mind, but the rifles do still sit with the T's, so you've got to hope for their sake they can stabilize. Now, Perfecto, here's all this going down. They are considering pop. It seems as though Alu will be the one to probably stop this fun before it starts. Ah, uh, Perfecto. Another example of someone given a huge opportunity on the come up in his oh! industry, not quite finishing it off, but becoming a professional CS player in the CIS region, always going to be looking up to that black and yellow jersey. So to be able to put it on, of course, that, uh, that transfer of, of priorities 
and a whole lot of responsibility in that Navi jersey. I can we read the strap board in the background there? <laughs> oh, there, there is a whole strap whiteboard. I've never had a strap whiteboard. We can get one, but like, we don't have a gaming room. We could wheel we, it in. We might have to rebuild our gaming dungeon. To make it into like a practical get with Chad. There's a, re there's a world where we have like a whole little, like, uh, I mean, Lauren knows all about it, like a TikTok house, but it's just me and Chad. Yeah, you'll be like the hype house. The hype house. house. I was thinking of starting one of those those houses, but look, without the TikTok the or the Instagram. Moves? Oh, it's like a Counter-Strike house, like a luncheon, if you will. Dance moves. Lauren, watch me. Watch me right now, right? I'll give you, Ooh, I'll give you a me. shuffle stamp. Watch me. Here it Ooh, comes. Watch me. Watch me. Ooh. Shuffle stamp. Damn. Can't believe that. My mum will be proud, and so will Sonny's after he takes down Simple and milks away this economical round from Na'Vi. Okay, Sergey's going to get Zeus. You ready? Nope. Oh. Come up the ladder. Come on. Come on. Oh, he created. That's actually the worst outcome. Yeah, that doesn't have been worse. Doesn't go well for him whatsoever there. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go get a bottle of water, guys. I'm quite, I need to, to hydrate myself. Right. Do you guys like anything? No, I'm okay yeah, at the moment. Okay, BRB. Actually, can I get a. Uh, I don't know if I. Boca Choco Frappuccino or. The, the drink I normally get. Yes. Thank you. There's the crater going on and lovely stuff, broken ankles on the way down. So, okay, just have it a bit of a look. Hey, you're right, mate. You're right. All right, mate. Okay, well, fast towards Yard here. Lots oh, of smokes and flashes over the top, but it is just an opening move. They're not fully committing to this right here. They're just trying to bait out any CT-sided utility because it is a low buy from Na'Vi. You can see there, all of their goodies. Well, they've only got two smokes left and a flash after that initial exchange of utility to deal with. Answers posturing and faking of the Yard. Here comes the second wave, and this is when the attack will be coming through. And Ariel last time did very well on the opening. This time it seems like Boomich is on the case, but with the Ampy and Sergei going to trade in, all going very nicely for the T's, keeping the man advantage, getting towards the bomb side itself. You do have Simple on the backtracks. I think it's Flamey yeah, over by Ivy, so they're still pretty close to this. Perfecto pulling himself around as well. Bomb yet to be planted. There's still plenty of time. Oh, the timing. Speaking of, couldn't be worse. Yampy's going to find Flamey, and it's a bit of a freebie. As Alex is rejoining us, I can't wait to have you back. It's been uh, quiet without you. It felt weird. A long 30 seconds. Yeah, it was. Lauren was expecting me to do play by play. It was all falling did, apart. Did I? did I? Yeah, she said, Chad, do the play by play. He's lying. And the round was over. But no, Stop Alex, your job what you missed, and, and maybe the people <laughs> at home missed it as well, as Ernst now pop up to 4 1. What I was trying to explain there was because Navi went for those four spies in the earlier pieces, the loss bonus had only built yeah. up to a point where they could just have rifles and light utility. So Ernst did something very smart. They had a lot more utility. They faked an early out presence, which meant Navi had to respect it, use their own utility to stop the early rush, stop them all off position. And then the second wave, well time from Ernst, came on over. It became heads up jewels at that point with the utility in the favor of Ernst. And they were able to take a very clean round. Now, perfect. Though, his name, do you think is more like a super villain or a superhero? I think Perfecto sounds like, you know, in The Incredibles, they have all those heroes that are kind of like irrelevant, but they still have to exist to have a superhero world. Sure. I think Mr. Perfecto would be one of them, you know? Like, okay. Because Elastigirl and Mr. Incredible, and they're like the cool A-listers. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Perfecto, he's like got like, I don't know, he can like boil water or something. And it's but to the perfect. Perfectly. Yeah, yeah perfectly. Like he knows exactly when it's ready. Like he knows, like, you know, that's 67 degrees. That's perfect for chamomile. I actually want that ability. Like everything he does is just like any kind of you know average task is incredibly well done. Does it perfect perfect totally? Ooh, it's not great. Oh, so we need, we we need some time. It. We need some time. We need some time. And time is one thing that Navi will also be looking at because they can get simple into the right place. Three players on the T side leaning this way. He'd need a mad multi kill here. I mean, don't forget, Flamey's operating with just the Deagle Kev. Sonny's bringing the bomb in. Boomich perhaps for a fast flank on the unarmored dig. But yeah, simple. He is just jumping up. Oh, I say jumping. Just alternating between the elevations to see if he can catch Sergei pre-nades. But now here come the smokes. Three, to be specific. And simple does catch a glimpse of Sergei. Doesn't want to fall foul. He knows a lot of responsibility on his shoulders. Wayne catching nades and throwing bullets down range. One, jumpy into the site. Across, simple to lock down. Oh. Not enough. Brings him down to five. Boomich's flank is going to be tested here. Sergei holding it. Sonny two. You know, That's the bomb close, though. Sonny's yeah. got to be careful. Boomich had a bit of a chance there, and Electronics recovered the org. Hmm. Sneaky. This is a very realistic 3v3. Was the bomb going down, though? It's a 10-second defuse, and that's a guarantee. We will have to move quickly. Electronic. Leaning forward first. Finds Alu, that's big. Sonny's still on the site. Here we are. And not for long. Suddenly, it is looking more and more capable, but Boomich is keeping Sergei busy. And that's the last thing the Sergei wants. He wants to get away. He wants to look towards the bomb. 
Diffuse Diffuse still coming in. Perfecto on the bodyguard duty. Sprays Great. in, but here comes the Diffuse. Smokes up. He's not getting it. Nicely done by Na'Vi. Yeah, good round for them to bounce back with there. And Flamey stalling them out towards the low ramp with that Deagle, I think, gave them enough time to rotate in. Simple not taking down Yampi probably led to a closer round and a plan. If Simple gets that kill, I can see this round spiraling even quicker out of control for the end side of things. Shot from Perfecto, very, very necessary there. And well, even nice from Boom is there. Yeah, you need them on patrol as that long defuse and the T potentially picking out from high ramp can get very, very scary. But that is a bad one for Ends to be losing here in the early stages. No rounds of free in Counter-Strike whatsoever. And as we get back underway, you'll see the same opening move. There's a five-lane smoke and aid towards Bomb Train. The CTs Ooh. prioritizing control of Pop and Olaf with their mollies. So I hate Ivy. Now, Chad, you know how you've been keep telling me about these left eye peaks? Well, there's an example of, of why I hate it. When I'm a CT and there's a, there's potentially three of them wanting to kill me, and I have to peek with my left eye where they see me first against an AWPer that's got just as much reactions, if not better than mine. Yeah, and it is a hard duel to take. That's why... Oh, hold up a second. Yeah, hold on. We'll come back to that, because that's a conversation for another time. Simple's under a lot of threat. Sergey from Pop will take him down if he's not careful. Boomich is ratting around the smoke. Sonny suspects things. Oh, he's going to get great speed here. Yeah, that's gross. Four on one. The dust settles, and it looks like the round will too. Perfecto. He Wants to try and find anything back in, but his nade trajectory has already salted him down the river. And it's the river of sticks. Five, four, Ents, and just two, four, Na'Vi. Yeah, so teams who prioritize Ivy on their T-side with the defaults can be a nuisance, right? Uh, quite, quite clearly. Some of the ways that you can deal with it is once you give them the corridor, right, you will be then dropping your own utility. Like you see them drop that smoke towards the server. That's why if it is a team that does want to use that side of the map a lot, you need to be having different forms of aggression. You need to be having that setup that we saw yesterday from Blame F postured forward with the M4 and Orpa there as well. Russian Blame did a really cool move there. Yeah, you want to scare them away from Ivy because even though it is a position that should be able to be held by one player, if there's enough resources being dumped towards that side sure. of the map, it's a difficult task. So you're right to take those heads up jewels, always get a flash, try and use some utility. Once you get pushed off the line, never re-peek back into that, especially from the left That's eye. That's where I fall. I've got, I've got this nasty little re Ask for a flash. itch. <laughs> I missed him the first time, but the second, I, I know I'll, I'll, him. I'll, I'll have him. It's not always the case, but regardless, these guys know what they're doing, so we'll focus on that. Round eight, first map, fourth day, 12th season, run boost for Jampy potentially on the AWP peak as well. Multiple targets should be a bit overwhelming if there was anybody home. For now, that responsibility is simple. So it makes a lot of sense when he's got the zoom banger in his grasp. He is going to have to be somewhat of a hero of this round. Bomb's way, way back. They were hoping for some CT aggressions, but that comes off the back of an initial kill. Nothing given. Smoke deployed around the minute mark. Ooh, toying with pop that. That's not the type of leg you want to be seeing. This is very, very <laughs> scary stuff. Boom it. She's keeping two pop players completely busy just by far enough a couple of warning shots. And that's the frag they needed. Sergey descends, gets the CTs a little hot under the collar after that one, but the bomb's still not committing to a site. They are taking way too long about this. Sergey's trying to sell the inner fake. 20 seconds as they looked ahead to back towards Yard. Electronic on E-Box appropriately. Yeah, simple scene it though. He knows what's coming his way. He oh. should still be others for the play, but Electronic's fallen. Oh. Now he does get Ariel on the way down, but look at this. Even though it's late, they've made it there. Eight seconds, seven. Bombs on site. Sergey's watching pop. There's no way back in. Perfecto. Nice try, but it's all for nothing. God, I get nervous seeing those late in the, you know, round sort of hits, but... I mean, that, that would have looked a lot more awkward if any of those frags went Na'Vi's way. Like, it was a matter of... Okay, nice totem drop in. into their credit. Sergey getting that frag. This is Simple's multi-kill. Getting one just before he went down. But take a look at the clock. I mean, it was around eight seconds when they planted. And to be planting with four seconds to spare, any sort of spanner in the works, had Electronic not been one shot on his E-Box contact, that could have been disastrous for Ents. So risks, well, this time it nets them the reward. And we're into our ninth round. Have seen Na'Vi have to swallow the bitter pill of Kevlar and sidearms. I think if Ents want to play this slow, then Na'Vi can turtle things up late round again with the Deagles. I've already seen them have success with saved weapons and the partial upgrade. Ooh, think better of that. The AWPer and the scope being heard from the close main players. We'll hold them around the corner as Boomich now postured forward sees that at least the, co the main entrance is clear. 
And look at this, Ensa just holding that shift key. Yeah, happy to, aren't they? They were playing Danger Zone right now. Rush would be very unhappy. <laughs> well, I wonder how many people have individually been inspired to try Danger Zone after Rush's uh, passion for it. Maybe let us know. Yeah, press one. Yeah, have, have any of you tried Danger Zone because of the front, uh, the bumps and the frexos, uh, the XOs? Stop adding Fs to everything from Danger Zone, Alex. Oh, that movement here he is so scary. It, I, I've never been great at movement in Counter Strike. Just the way that these kids have mastered it is nuts. But Boomich looking pretty nuts himself. If he had another there, that would have stopped the attack out main, and the bomb would have been down. But this is still going to get spicy. Yeah, I think Electronics got a good shot here. Okay. With the CZ, two rifles now available. Flamey through the back tracks. It's a real shot. Bodies into the belly. And now a two on three. Ariel and Sergey wondering where this one went wrong. They've got 17 seconds. They're going to have to plan in their smoke. It can be contested. Sergey digging them out of trouble. Simple. We'll have to descend pop. Perfecto has the element of surprise here. And Sergey has already warded off. Simple. There's very little he can contribute now. I think Ents are stabilizing. Perfecto, the loose thread. The unaccounted for. Not a single kit, so this one's gonna pewter out. If he can save the AK, that's not too bad here, but he wants to do damage, which oh, oh had an opportunity. We'll get taken down and yeah, I think it's just your boy Ariel from the skies. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, um not many people have been inspired according to chat. That's all right. A lot of Amiga lols, a lot of kick W's out there. What's not a... many poggers. I'm so disconnected from the chat. Super I couldn't weird tell you chat. what they mean. I'm going, to do a I'm going to do a series with Rush where he explains to me what all those things mean. Because okay. genuinely, as the boomer that I am, I have no idea what that language is. It's just you don't spend time watching Twitch that much. I do. I just have the chat disabled. Instantly. It's the first thing I do. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, but a bit is, you know, you're not part of the community. You're not part of the cheering as a group. Yeah, I'm never yeah. a big cheerer. You know me, Lauren. Yeah. But, but you know, again, please support Cat Jam is, is what's going on. They're trying to get a new... Similar to a, Toe a Jam. Mode. Cat Jam. Chad, that's how you alienate yourself. I don't know. Yeah? Yeah. This, this, You're right. this noise. Instead of that, I'm talking about Rugrats. But this is a, a pretty good start here from Ents. Four on the trot. Navi wins one back on that low buy with the two saved rifles. Another three straight. Oh, and we're already on to round Seven, 10. Yeah. Is, uh, How's it happened? It's not close. Is this pickle product of those early CT buys still? Uh, a little bit because we haven't even seen like a double op setup come out at all just yet. We do see one on simple at this point and he had two kills with it. So they need to try and find some more impact with him. Uh, Navi on their T sides is where they do a lot more of their, their damage, at least not statistically, yeah, but when they're back against the wall. But this is a terrible start for CT sided train regardless. 70 rounds of the opening 10. I mean, that is magnificent for Ents if you want to put it on the other foot. I do worry a little bit of Nalvi's mental, though. That's oh, uh, one of the teams boy. that do scare me when it comes to that, especially saying if we have a good start, this is not the good start you're wanting. It's also never a win condition I'd want to attribute to a top team. 100%. Never, 100%. ever. 100%. Uh, perfecto, though. This is his time to try and get a little bit of grip on this B site here. We haven't seen too many in these last few gun rounds, oh, but more coming in. Simple goes down and a 5v4 post plant. Yeah, this is when things get really awkward again. Perfecto. They have to plant with all five members of Ents holding every extremity. Like, this is this is the opposite of ideal. Oh, no, they're backing away. I have to say, yeah, this they is do. just impossible to retake. They have, like, a smoke and a flash. They only have one defuse kit in play. Even if they were to have a couple of trades, the bomb's already ticked down past the halfway mark. There's really nothing they can do, and this is all being set and, and kind of put into motion by Ents' pace. Because they have been going with those defaults, what it means is as soon as they go for a more pouncy round like that, Na'Vi, they're not as quick to react, right? Because they're not used to those kind of plays. They're like, oh, well, they're going to wait to the last 30 seconds again before they do anything. But here, nice pace change. Ents as a unit, couple of simple flashes. They didn't even use that many smokes until they were entering into the site. And by doing that, just having the flashes, the rotation's going to be even later. I just wanted to help back up the stat that I was talking about with Na'Vi on, on train before. Uh, the amount of rounds that they've won, they've played it 20 times, 50.5% of their rounds have been on the T side. Now, they would have wow. to really bounce back right now to kind of level that out so that they could try yeah. and go for a really huge T half themselves. The rifles are out. There is a chance. The saved guns have given them another shot at it here, but it needs to needs to be get, get going now because this isn't the same Navi we saw against Godsent the other day. Different opponent, obviously. 
Well, that Dust 2 game, it does feel very different, doesn't it, when you consider what they look like there in comparison to now. But that's still yet to come, of course, second map. As it looks like it is this heavy lean towards B. No rotation for Perfecto again. Like, look at this. There's, there's no one even close connector right now. smoke. Okay, this is cool. So this is going to arrive. Perfecto is going to get locked out. He's now got no friends, and they're about to hit him with four people. This is going to have to be some performance. Sendry to stop the push. Jampy jiggled and eliminated. This is a huge round from Perfecto. The rotate will come in now, but he's really held the wall from the door. The bomb's loose. Sergei hunting. The space that his flames have now left, but... Perfecto gets another magnificent stuff from one of Na'Vi's new additions. He's finally pulled a third round out of the hat for the CIS squad. Simple confirming it. Sunny down low. In-game leader now, by the way, if anyone's not been keeping track. I know it took me by surprise. The name Sunny and in-game leader, not a mix I'm particularly familiar with, but uh, this T-side is certainly promising. And also seeing Alu with a bit of a kind of an unleashed aspect to his gameplay. I think there was a there was a there was a element of that in-game leadership definitely hampering what he what made him so good. Yeah, and for people who don't quite understand how that works is the sense that there we go, we'll get taken down. If you have to be thinking about what your other teammates are doing and you're also a playmaker in the squad, you're not really focusing on what the best thing for you to make that play with is, right? You're how can I help everybody else? I need to know what everybody else is doing. I need to be telling everybody else where they need to be. And even just having that lapse in thought and judgment, it can slow you down. Now we've seen Ali with some great performances, but you're right, this is very huge. Uh, from Perfecto on this inner bomb site. I wanted to just take a look. I was having a look on Skybox when the hit came in. It was one minute and 12 seconds that the attack initiated on B. And by the time that initial rotator was even close, we were under, we were like at 55 seconds. So yeah, he was, was on his own him. for almost 20 seconds. That was literally just Perfecto locking that down. Power of that IV to con smoke. It just locks four CTs to either gray screen or go backtracks for 15 seconds. It's nuts. Here we go. Much faster. Yeah, they're going right in on this. This time, though, Na'Vi do have support Woo! there. A little quicker. Oh, Alu. Missing the shot, but it is going to be the casual 1v4, 33 HP against fully geared up and kitted CTs. Uh, has the bomb. Doesn't have his life, so Na'Vi keeping control this time. So I saw Flamey giving a nice fist bump over to Perfecto, the round prize, just kind of a little bit of an acknowledgement of his inner hold. And it seems that Flamey this time was the perfect supporting cast to the second inner hit, this time much more pace behind it. And hence they're gonna call their first timeout. So both teams have actually taken one of the four allotted for each map. Now the most likely next move in this chessboard of Counter-Strike that Ents will go with is just another default spread like they were doing, maybe pressure over towards Ivy, a babysitter for main, and a babysitter towards Pop Dog and Inner, and then go for the exact same play that was working for them earlier. Make Na'Vi use all their utility, make them whittle down with their grenades so it just becomes aim jewels, maybe go with their opening smokes to bait out that initial protocol utility. But if you're Na'Vi and you know that the default's coming through, you should be able to find yourself a way to get an opening pick because there are stragglers. There are players who you can isolate and find across the map here and see if you can get yourself an opening. Let's see which way they go about it, Ents, because I just don't see that them going back towards that inner hit off the bat. So there's the opening smoke towards the five lane. Flash over the top as well. Hello. Hot toes will be forced back, but it is just that default spread. So you can just see looking at the radar, taking their time, looking for the picks, trying to find an opening. And the CTs aren't doing anything different just yet either. Yeah, similar scenes. I'm trying to see what ends do with this. Can the CT side give anything? Simple, getting a little curious, but anything, keeping Boomich in play quite nicely. Deep Smoke comes in. I'm impressed that Simple's going for angles like that with no one actively holding pop. It is Electronic's responsibility, and Boomich with that sweep, he can call main clear. Simple continues to be, remain in float. The totem drugs actually worked for Worked today, for them, so, hasn't it? Yeah. But Sergei's a, a, look, at the, look at this. Look at the tips of his toes holding himself onto the ledge here. He'd be jumping into the lion's den. First... A smoke or two. Oh, 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 oh. oh Lord! Faking yard here. There's going to be a B hit. Look at him go. Down the ladder, up the ladder. Two players oh, spotted. Perfecto Safe left info. Oh, perfecto, no. He has completely rotated. You're absolutely bang on. They can walk that bomb out now. Perfect is going to be screaming. 
They're already on upper. He spots both of them. This is scary stuff for Perfecto. He's going to need some help here. They've got the players. And now they have a bit of sight. But oh, simple. The fright doesn't stop him pulling the trigger onto one. They are down to just three. So the CTs are actually in a pretty good position. Unless Ariel can do something filthy. Not what? the case. My word. What? Don't play me. Where did... Okay, that was real quick. The way that that all fell apart right there, I... I, I... Thought there was going to be multiple kills so coming up ends. Simple killed one as he arrived and as he went down. That was the only casualty for Na'Vi. Let's see if we can recap that. That was the lovely bait from Sergei. You can see the reaction speed test he gave them. We lose Jampy and Yard on the Lurk. Perfecto chipping up on Alu. Simple's already taken down at this point. And it's the double kill between Flaming and Perfecto again. Just dealing with what little remains. Very nice stuff to put the fifth on the board for Na'Vi. And as we highlighted before, this is still far from ideal for the CT start on train, but as Chad highlighted, over 50% of Na'Vi's round wins on this map historically are on that T side. So certainly there is grounds for competition in our first map. This is Ence's pick. See that there on the mini map, thanks to our fancy new graphics. Love you, Vlad. Ah, Boomich in trouble. Boomich gone. Flash avoided by Ariel and now really set up for success. This is terrifying choices. The electronics make it, but the dunk does land on Alu down to 24. Look at this push up, oh. Electronic. That's lovely stuff. Can take us a little bit of a time in the fight. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that was the edge of it. Oh, oh I don't know if it was two mollies or what caught him there, but he's down to 25 nonetheless. Oh. Now, Sunny, Alu. Uh -oh. oh, it's all falling apart. It looks so good for so long. And suddenly, they come right back into it. Don't have to do it now, Chad, but could we skybox that to see what, like, how that went two from. Or one Molly's then? Yeah, I'm having a look. I don't yeah. know how that all fell apart. So exactly, quickly. exactly. Yeah, like, let's see if we can put here. our brains back together and understand exactly how that one just went from, from a normal round to it's over uh, in a matter of seconds. It was Sergei's frags, maybe just arrived out of pop and everyone, everyone was. Looking the wrong looking way. The wrong yeah. Way. I mean, that's the only way I could explain it. Let's see then. 9 6 sounds a whole lot better than 10 5. Of course, not if you're an Ents fan. The Finns are on a tear. And we are going to be seeing your typical default responsibilities. It's nice to keep track of how Sergei's approaching his Brown Halls lurk. Pop Dog player to finish, but clears his Brown Halls and does his jobs. Now, this is where previously we saw Flamey getting caught out. It's now Simple's responsibility. So many gaps in the CT defense as they continue to float around. They don't want to be caught out by anything fast. And Ents have already trained them to be cautious oh. of those fast plays. Dodge that one. Yeah, fast that was moves. nice. Boomich. Has a missed molly over towards Ivy there, so... Well, I think it was a missed molly. All right, with a minute left on the clock, Ents have just gone back to that more default spread. Works for them well in the earlier stages of the game, and if they're able to pull back the last round here of the half, it'll be a fantastic T side with a 10-5 scoreline. Now, corralling on back towards team main, you can see Yampi and Alu, they were over towards Ivy to apply pressure, could not find a pick, and Navia played quite a totaled up setup here towards the E-Box, main and Pop Dog. Feels like they will be going for a yard execute. 30 seconds left. It will be a hit onto the A side. Alu with a close flash, see if anyone's going to catch it. On the other side, though, it looked like Electronic and Boomage, both a little blind, but come out of it perfectly fine. Simple. Holding it down. This is lovely work from Na'Vi so far. Systematic destruction as Alu. Last one alive and not for long. Na'Vi recovering the final throws there of the first half.
Six of the half, and as you boys tune on in from around the world, I'm joined here by Lauren Pansy Scott, Chad Sponge Burchill, and myself, Machine. Cringy nicknames aside, we are ready to get this one underway. You can see three members of the Navi roster still in their boot camp, still Perfecto, Boomich, and Flamey. Flame Dogger. Flame Dogger, excuse me. Was there a sponge for president? It's good to see the Canada? smiles on the fins. Sponge for president? Yeah, I thought they were on the fan cam. It was sponge number one. It's the same guy. He's just sponge number one. your number one fan. Maybe oh. that's the no context sponge guy. Oh. That's how he communicates. I wonder who that is. Oh. I do too. But I'd pro I honestly, you never meet I don't your heroes. Know. You never I meet don't your heroes. Know. Okay. No, I, I met the um, the Zeus Twitter guy. Not as, fun, not as funny in real life at all. Oh. Well, some people are better on the internet, Alex. Yeah. And that's where we do our best work too. So. Navi will be lobbing a smoke over towards Connected quickly on the hands there of Mr. Electronic, and that's going to draw the rotation, but they're not going fast onto the B side. This might be double fake, hoping that Ents over-investigate and then draw back after the smoke clears. So at this point, it will be fading, but they're going in. Oh, Sergey with that P2K does only get the one. But real chance for this oh, after plan. Oh. Simple's just popping heads. That's why you put oh. the P250 in his hands. Exceptional craftsmanship. Long range. Of course you have the P250. It's double the range of the Glock. Completely nullifies the advantage the USPs have. And that's what Simple's capable of. Round over. Jumpy knows it. Oh. Simple gets himself his quad kill. That was nasty. Yeah, one more time, I think, from the top. Oh, yuck. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Just when he thought it couldn't get better, he had another two to the tally. Look at these shots. Oof. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Four bullets. All oh, those USPs thought they were like, yeah, we got the Glocks. They're at range. Don't worry about them. And then Simple does that. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Now we're cooking with gas. Now there's flames certainly on the agenda tonight. We are seeing plenty of Kevlar and sidearms, a lot more in the HE department. Might see some land towards Perfecto's feet. Looks a little short at the moment. So how many rifles are we whipping out? We've got two Mac-10s and then three on the longer barrel. And a full five-man stack from these Deagles for the outer sight at this moment in time. Where do you reckon that first kill's happening, Lauren? Mm, I'm saying aerial. Ooh. You know what? It's either aerial or it's yumpy. Okay, well, you got you got the first frag though. Pin it, pin the tail on the uh, on the map. On the yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where are you going, Alex? I'm gonna put mine down on e box. I reckon aerial's dead. They just have stack nades for main here. Here they come. Oh, oh, and there they are, Chad. Oh, yeah. Owie, Boomich catches three of them, but continues to charge mate up, and already aerial okay. does go down on e box. That's right. I win my fake. Game, yay. <laughs> <laughs> All the points. All the points, Gryffindor. Oh, Gryffindor. Okay, I definitely don't think I'd be Gryffindor though. I was having this discussion last night. I think that would have to be Gryffindor. Yeah, of course you would. You got the, the heart of a lion, you're a bit of a dick. Exactly, yeah. that's where I was going with it. Cause uh, you know, you have to be that to be Gryffindor. You, they, they seem yeah. like they're nice, but they I mean, are- Come on, nuts. Harry, Ron, Hermione, all just narcissists. Precocious Literally. as well. Yeah. yeah. Provocative narcissists. I they do be... good stuff. Yeah, you'd have right a good in. heart. Yeah. Do they? They like Why to help they each other. they just mess up a load of stuff at Hogwarts and then get points for it cause they kind of fixed it at the end. 
but they're trying to do the right thing, Lauren. They're trying no, to save, the, they're why trying did they to save the, the bloody world. Why did they? Why was Hermione in the bathrooms crying? Oh dear. You know, oh dear. Well, only USPs, and they're calling IV clear, so this is a boatload of... Oh, they've taken so much space. I just looked at Boomit. She's already pushed all the way up. Flamey's has got the push from in up. And so we don't really have to talk about this one. We can I'm continue. definitely not Hufflepuff. No. But again, this well, is Slytherin. Just like... Which are the ones that specialize in the um, the horticulture? Isn't that is that Huffle? Isn't that is that Raven? Claw. I don't know. It's Hufflepuff. I'll do that one. I've always wanted to kind of learn to grow plants better. Okay. No, oh, because we watched we watched oh, full, we watched Full Metal Alchemist, and then he's like, we're into into a bit more of the oh, the equivalent alchemy. exchange. Yeah, alchemy is the one. I mean, it's just the the irony of like. Uh... Millennials enjoying which Hogwarts house they're in is like, you know, Zoomers these days with their astrology signs is cute. Oh, it's the same it's thing. The same, same thing. I hadn't even made same that thing. connection. You're right. You're bang on. Astrology signs. Yeah, it's like yeah. very popular. As an excuse for bad personality traits. I thought we did that as well. Are we not as much? You don't do it seriously, do you? No, Chad? not seriously. And there you go. Whereas I know that you've got you know, a Gryffindor little scarf somewhere. Gosh, I hadn't, you know, Lauren, this is a really interesting conversation. I stole like, it from TikTok. Please don't. Very interesting. <laughs> oh, I know, but like I hadn't thought. Of, I mean, the idea of, you know, uh, excuses for your bad personality traits and just saying, mm. oh, that's who I am because of when I was uh, it's, born. It's Leo season. Oh, I have to be like this because it's who I am as opposed yeah. to, you know, taking accountability for your actions. I hadn't Such thought about that. Such a Slytherin thing. To oh, think. my goodness. It's like, yeah. Uh, anyway. Nine, nine, round nine. number 19. <laughs> Getting underway here. The orb out on the back of Alu. One kit in Ariel's. Back pocket as well. And it is just the standard four towards the yard to deal with any rushes. And one man, that one man will be Sergei over towards the inner site. He's going to have a bit of a duel with Flamey and this tussle for utility, the battle for control and who knows what. Yeesh. Ivy is truly precarious, isn't, isn't it? I I hate this place Ooh. and peaks like that just Oh, he's oh, on one. He's online. The switch has been flicked. How is he so good when he just, it just, it makes the game look so simple. You should see his sense as well. 400 DPI, 3.09. That's high. He's a wrist aimer, is simple. He won't be able to do much more. Sunny on the other side of things has managed to go and do exactly the same right back. Surely not squandering all of those opening frags. They will. Flamey spotted as well. Alu's double has put Flamey on notice. And he's through the smoke as it blooms. Alu, triple kill in quick succession, completely squanders all of those hard and heavy lifting that Simple was doing. Now, I am one of the biggest Simple fans, but by him being so good and getting these two opening kills and taking all of this space, the rest of the team fast forwarded. They were already two, three steps ahead of probably where they should have been. And you saw how many of them got getting caught off guard. They took the space because they had it. They didn't use their utility in the same way that they probably should. And a round, which definitely should have been Na'Vi's, has fallen to the wayside. Not because Simple got the two openings, but because they really just stepped up the pace there and Ants took advantage of it. So that's a terrible one to lose and one that could be seen as a bit of a, a tilt round mentally. Oh, not, uh, not today. Not today. I don't think... Um... You know, Simple's at his home setup. He's used to he's used to being um, tilted at home in his FPL streams. Mm. He can. He, it's the same environment he's used to. He'll take a swig of water and he'll just go again. It's nine to ten. Taking a quick look at Sergey's ADR as well. He's really standing out from the pack. He's been averaging nearly a 100 damage per round, practically a kill, despite only posting 14 in the 19 we've seen. They weren't able to get the double ops back out. Yampi did have one in the previous as well there for that first gun round event. So. He will just be down on the MP9. Ooh, are they pushing this? Yep. Perfecto, might get both of them. You heard the boots leave the ground. Couldn't quite pinpoint where they landed, though. I wonder how that nade's going to do onto Perfecto. It does look destined for success. Ooh, it couldn't get better than that. Down to the halfway mark. They're taking things much slower here after that opening. There's no rush. Whittle down the map, decide on where you want to go. You have a real opportunity now to head over towards Yard that we can see on the radar. And so basically foregone complete control. And for them, all they can really tell is these sound cues and use that as the idea of where Navi are currently positioned. Dropping the smoke on the side of the six train there will give them an avenue to get into cutout and now clear through sandwich. Molotov from the team main players. This is good stuff. This is nice, actually. Look how much extra access to the site they've got without having to fire a bullet yet. 
They will have to break this wall, though. These smokes will fade, and Bloodshed is on the menu. Boomich trying to catch Ariel. He has Sunny trying to play around that bomb train. Multiple targets. He needs a quick second. Won't find it. And so the bomb should go down. Alu to contest it, though. He won't be able to wide swing. That's perfect for his responsibilities to contain. And he does find the shot. So Sergei in a clutch scenario. We all ready for Perfecto. He's definitely turned it up here on the T side as well as his multi kill on that inner test. Sergey just evaporating for a moment. He'll hide out in the pop dog position. Hope that they get caught unawares on his re peek. Oh, that could have been the chance. Now finding the other. It's all onto Perfecto. 10 HP does have a kit. Trying to find and close that gap as best he can. Time just not on his side here, Sergey. What could you possibly do unless Perfecto doesn't check it? But yeah, oh, okay, no time, surely, 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 surely. That would Got be it. madness. That would be oh. heaven. Oh. Sergey, what a clutch. That is spectacular. And you said the previous round's going to trigger Na'Vi. They are going to be salty after that one. Oh, the damage he caused coming out of Pop as well. He is, he's, he's don't play him violin. Oh, oh we've got some musicians. Hey, look at the view in the top right. Oh, there's some great this is deal Finland, of sun. Right? That's got to be a Finnish audience member. He's out there, saunas game. Oh, that was up. right down to the wire. I, I want to see this again. This. So, Perfecto, right, about the right time to be oh, checking it. He oh bided his Lord. time. Perfecto's going to be kicking himself to that one. Oh, oh, dear. I'm, oh, dear. I'm oh, dear. mad. I'm not, I didn't, wasn't even me. That would annoy me. So very much. That's going to get under their skin. Let's see if Na'Vi can stabilize, because that's two souring rounds in a oh, row. It's two of them, isn't it? If, if off the back of Simple Simple's having double. such big success and then it evaporating, it, it does leave you wanting. We'll see. Again, we, we always put that question mark with Na'Vi. Maybe they can just overcome it right back onto business, but it's certainly going to be weighing in the back of our minds. They took a couple of smokes to work with here, but this initial duel with Simple and Sunny could be everything. If Simple can get himself a rifle or a kill in the early stages... No, he can't. That's fantastic teamwork right there. So Sunny making sure they clear out a dangerous position on the map. And I think this one might just trickle away from yeah. RV here. Ants are looking good. They're playing with each other. Making sure it's not just individual fights. The teamwork on point. And we spoke about their fundamentals. And that could be the key to them getting back to one of the more recognizable names in the Counter-Strike world. Great for Sunny. He's been everywhere this round. He was up towards Pop with that opening onto Simple. Now he's in the back lines. This is the in-game leader, making sure he's plugging those holes as they do come up and Yampi will finish things off. So between the two of them, all five kills and 12 rounds on the board now. Navi on nine. Money will allow AK-47s to come out. You won't have the AWP as a weapon for Simple. Not necessarily a problem. Someone who I think, uh, as, a, as a primary AWPer, can be just as potent with basically any weapon in the game. Must be nice. Yeah. <laughs> that affinity just to understand the game and how players react on such a level that you can make almost any scenario work. Favorable to you. It's 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 crazy to see, but... Oh, Flame is committing. Okay. Where's he head to from this? Just by ladder right now. CT's pretty close up. Ariel not too far away. Alu keeping track of this too. Flamey and Boomich fancying a go of things. Yeah, this is very promising. Alu could... Ooh, we were millimeters from... The collateral, Sunny to dig them out of this hole. Electronics closing the gap. And Sunny choosing to back away. Yeah, I'm it could be fun. Wonder if he can find any room for this. They haven't got the bomb down yet, so time's no. going to be a factor. They aren't going to be all around, but I guess it's all about timing for him. He might get flaming for free here. He does. Nice work. Yeah. Oh, no. Quickly starting to watch another round where Na'Vi have done so much of the hard work and the Molly's four simple down to 30. Jampy spray through the smoke brings him low, bomb down. It is the iconic duo to clutch. Simple. Stands up tall, gets down sunny. Try to isolate Jampy, but he's there. And now Electronic oh. sprays him wildly, connects towards Sergey, now the 1v1. What does Jampy have, just the Deagle now? Ooh, not much to play with, but he's getting up close. Sp oh. Does manage to pick up the oh. rifle. And another one. Slipping away, Na'Vi can't be happy with this. Just not converting in the final moments here in Na'Vi, and it looks so good again. They postured in the yard, everybody was standing around waiting to get things going, and then, well, sweeping through, Ant's looking good. Ant's grabbing some much-needed kills on that retake, and look at the gentleman in the top right. Oh, He's got a wow. big smile on his face. 
I want to watch Counter Strike by a lake in the outdoors. It does sound lovely. It does sound I imagine it's just like Nazi's life, and he's probably quite happy at the, the moment. Sauna right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we could be in the the tub, the jacuzzi. Grill going on. Oh, please. barbecued meat, some oh. beverages. That does sound quite enticing. That's how I want to watch Counter Strike. Not in this dark and dingy studio. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Regardless, we are into our twenty-third round of Ence's map pick, and they are ripping some of their favorable Navi starts. Straight back into their control. This could be a quick one, though. Ariel eliminates the majority of the threat onto that bomb train. This is promising from Simple, though. If Flamey can force this fight, Jampy just killed everyone. Never mind. Sunny dunked on his teammate. Maybe there's a world where Flamey can 1v2. Some of the work's been done for him. Sunny, dead now, of course. Oh, if he had that bomb, he could do something. Oh, my. Good stuff from Ents here. They're running away with this 14 to 9 right now. This game's going to be over before we know it. Another triple kill from Jampy as well. The clutch before ended him on triple, uh, ended him on three. And this is another, we didn't get to see it from his POV. So you can see he's just a, some combat oh. orping, taking down two of the hardest hitters and a third onto Flamey to finish. So 14 for Ents. Our max loss bonus, you'll be seeing Na'Vi now just buying every single round. It's been, what, five in a row for Ents after the initial three to start off our second half. I'm not sure how now they get back into this one. Oh. Not like that. Yeah, that's not the opening they were looking for. Another oh. frag going down. Ariel doing great work here. And everybody from the Navi side of things just falling one after the other, limping out of main. They haven't conditioned them in the same way Ents were doing within that first half, just hoping they were able to capitalize on some of these duels. And, well, you can see two members, Boomage and Flame Dogger. Not a lot they're going to get done here, and even less now. Look at this, it's almost flawless. It is. Ariel, his pop dog play there was just perfect. He only re peeked into a new aggress. And that's the end of that. 15. Ents really buttoning it up on this CT side. Jampy, a huge part of that. He's found his 20th frag there on that uh, secondary AWP. Certainly no slouch on it. With Alago in your roster as well, you're never going to really argue to the two as to who's going to be using it first. I think Ali would just buy it and look at you. No no words, just he'd buy the orb and then face, just... rotate his character to face you and be like, are you are you buying one? Because I've already bought I've one. Already so got... <laughs> kind of my um, job. But what this awkward. kind of feels like for me is though that Ents are very much the real deal. We saw a bit of before. This is their map choice, of course, but they're playing incredibly well. This is really, really good indicators. We hadn't seen much of them prior to this point. So if they close out now, Na'Vi looking a little deflated. I don't know why. I, the reason I giggled there is because I just imagined like kind of a soggy <laughs> Navi balloon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'd be soggy. You know what I saw on the street today on the walk to the PT? Tell me. A big 30 block balloons. And I thought, oh, someone's turning 30. Oh, it's so nice when someone celebrates your, celebrates birthday. your birthday. Especially your 30th. It's oh, a consider it. It's a big, that's a big one. You'd expect to see those lovely inflated balloons. Did you want me to get you a balloon? Next time. You're not 30. I was 30. Where was my balloons? We weren't in the same country, Lauren. Next time. Okay. Next time you turn 30. Oh, wait. Anyway, it's going to be the oh. inner hit here. All in for Na'Vi. Oh. oh, stick the landing, boys. Boomich is burnt alive. Come alive, perhaps. Sergey gone. Ariel's still a nuisance. And Alu's dunked Boomich in the process. And pff, simple. Only allowed to get one. Jampy's the one to shut that one down. And so now it does really fall to... Uh, one, two punch. It will be Perfecto, obviously going to try and kill everyone, but it'll be more about just surviving. He's just given them a real portal into focusing all their energy onto Electronic. I was expecting a more passive stance from Perfecto there, make them waste their time. Instead, that could not be it. Electronic gives it a good go. Jampy was there to pick up the pieces. Kit available and time too. And so, ladies and gentlemen, Na'Vi fans will have to wait until the second map to see if they can taste victory. Ents, on the other hand,